So this woman's mom had a baby by her daughter's baby daddy. Ooh, rough time. Yep, you read that correctly. Her mom had a baby by her toxic, abusive baby daddy. Of course, if you knew her, I'm a self-aware narcissist and I point out toxic people's traits and behaviors. I'm not saying that her mom is a narcissist, but she's at minimum very, very toxic. I, could, I think we can all agree on that one. Don't need to know the situation what happened before that. Uh, it de doesn't really matter. She ended up with her daughter's baby daddy and having a baby by him. Relying on my mommy to support me while, my, while leaving my abusive baby daddy. My mom getting in a relationship and having a baby with my baby daddy. Yikes. I say this all the time that toxic women exist. And one of the main statements that I hear when I'm talking to people over Zoom is that my mom was a narcissist. My mom was toxic. I had a toxic mom growing up. Toxic moms can be just insist, like super jealous of their daughters. Toxic narcissistic moms sometimes have like emotionally you know, in sexual relationships with their sons, but they are, they can be just deathly jealous of their kids, of their daughters, especially the point where you try to usurp your daughter by having a baby by her abusive ex, in her mom's mind. She's probably thinking like, you don't deserve him anyway. Why were, why was he abusive towards you? You probably would, you know, I know you, I raised you. I know you don't know how to act. You don't deserve a good man like that. So let me try, let me show him how a real woman is going to treat him. Not giving a damn how her daughter feels about the situation. Not caring at all that she probably might not ever speak to her daughter again be involved with her grandchildren because the hatred and the jealousy that she has for her daughter just that she just did oh my god I'm, I'm losing <laughs> toxic moms like that will also try to hold their kids back from having good lives and things like that to try to keep their kids from being successful in life because they're jealous of them. And the weird mindset that some toxic narcissistic moms have, they're like, if you are more conventionally attractive than me, I need to find a way to hold you back. I need to find a way to prove that I'm better than you in some way, shape, or form. You can't go past me in life. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to have a baby. to show you just how good I am and that I'm better than you. I'm going to have a baby with your baby's father. I'm going to start a full-blown relationship with your baby's father just to just to just show you how replaceable you are just to put you in a child's place the crazy thing about this is i can imagine her mom saying something weird to her just like you should be happy for me at least it's your at least he ended up with somebody in your family you should you're not you are you not happy for your mom you don't want your mama to be happy wow wow you never really cared about me wow wow you ungrateful as hell i right after all, all the time and effort i put it into raising you you don't care about me you don't care about my happiness wow and sometimes People like that will blame the daughter or the child, the children, for bringing them together. Now, I would have never knew this person existed if you wouldn't have brought them in. If you would have brought them into our lives, so it's your fault for us ending up together. It's your fault for complaining to me about about him and allowing me to see who he really was and to see that you were actually the problem. You typically, know how this ends. The mom typically ends up being a victim of abuse as well. I hope this helps.